Many times we encounter situations in pool games that we are missing simple shots for some reasons and we lose our matches. So in this episode I am going to show you top 10 most common reasons in my opinion which have critical impact that we are missing shots in pool. First of all we need to talk about the bad quality of our stroke. This means that when we are hitting the cue ball with wrong movement of our cue stick without follow through and with wrong timing, then this can sometimes lead to missing the object ball and we don't know what we did wrong. The perfect example is when we need to play shot like this and we want to use side spin on the cue ball to move it to the desired area. If we apply a lot of side spin and we hit the cue ball with wrong timing or without the correct follow through, then you can see that we are hitting the object ball in wrong point which result with missed shot. It happens because cue ball made a curve due to wrong timing because we stopped movement of our cue stick immediately after hitting the cue ball. We can fix this problem if we improve our stroke timing because if we play the same shot with same spin and speed, but we execute a smooth and deep follow through with correct timing, then you can see that we are hitting the object ball at its ghost ball point. Using side spin on the cue ball require a good understanding how cue ball will react if we apply different amount of spin and speed. Many beginner pool players do not realize that during this type of shots we encounter factor like deflection which result with wrong contact with the object ball. As an example I will use this situation where we want to pot ball number 8 and make position for ball number 9. To move the cue ball to desired area we need to use side spin with different amount of speed and sometimes beginners don't know that we need to adjust our aiming point due to deflection which is visible due to applied spin and speed on the cue ball. If we are using high speed shots with side spin, the cue ball deflects much more than in situation where speed is much lower. So you need to remember that if we are using side spin on the cue ball, then you need to know how cue ball will react if we apply specific spin and speed. Hi Mr. Cue ball here and if you are new on my channel and watching my video for the first time, this is the great moment to leave it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to be updated with videos like this. One of the most critical aspects during our game is ability to hit the cue ball at its center and being able to find the center point. When we are aiming strike shot like this, then during our last movement of our cue stick to hit the cue ball, we are applying unintended side spin. This means that our point of contact with the cue ball is off its center. This makes a big difference and really often result with missed shot because cue ball due to applied side spin following a slightly different path and we are hitting the object ball in wrong point. Technique of our stroke is really important, but the elevation of the cue stick is important too and sometimes has a huge impact on how the cue ball behaves during a shot. If we elevate our cue stick and we are unable to hit the cue ball at its center, this causes unwanted side spin and we are dealing with a phenomenon called swerve. This means that when we have a high elevation of our cue stick and we hit the cue ball with side spin, then the cue ball will spinning in a different surface for a period of time, which will cause it to curve slightly and hit the object ball in a completely different point that we wanted. Of course, how this curve will be depends on how much speed and spin we will use on the cue ball. Therefore, it is very important that the elevation of our cue stick needs to be as low as possible to increase the probability of hitting the object ball at the correct point, which in next stage translates into the potting effectiveness. This how much spin we are using has a huge impact on this how cue ball will react, but we need to remember that the speed of the shot can be more crucial. This is because when we are using high speed shots, then we sometimes encounter a situation that the object ball hits rail first just before the pocket and due to apply its speed, is not be able to be pocketed. In this situation we have factor which is called pocket speed. Pocket speed has two definitions and in the first one it refers to the velocity at which there is just enough speed for the object ball to reach the pocket. Alternatively, pocket speed refers to the degree of ability of pocket to more easily accept a shot that was not aimed perfectly. So as you can see, this is really important what amount of speed we are using on the cue ball, because sometimes we can achieve better results using less speed on the cue ball. The next really important factor which has impact on the shot success is that we are not be able to focus on the correct object. 
Let's imagine that we have shot like this, which is really simple, but we have another two balls on the opposite rail, which are blocking together. In this situation, we need to cause the cue ball to open these two balls after potting the object ball. And many times, this situation leads to missing the object ball because we are thinking too much about another contact with blocked balls, which result with missed shot. So in this case, we should always focus on the following shot and analyze situation where to hit the cue ball and with what speed and speed to make contact with other balls. You are not sure about subscribing to my channel? I am one-handed pool player and my mission is to show people around the world by creating billiard content that the impossible is nothing and we can fulfill our passions despite such great adversaries. And additionally, I want to teach you everything you need to know to become a better pool player. Concentration during game is really important, but sometimes much more important is what will happen with our body just before the shot. Pre-shot routine can have a significant impact on the quality of our shots. Very often we step into the shot in the wrong place or we do it very carelessly, which can lead to the fact that we will misjudge the angles of the shot. It is very important to always step into the shot on the aiming line and if we are ready to the shot, then not to make unnecessary movements of our body. Rising your head and body while aiming to check the position of other balls on the table is a bad habit and can significantly affect the effectiveness of our shots. So in this case, if we are not sure of the shot or the point we are aiming at, or just want to reanalyze the situation on the table, we should always get up and do everything before the shot. Because with this attitude, we will be able to shoot with greater accuracy. Of course, positioning our body on the shooting line is very important, but the correct stance at the table is equally important. The correct stance at the table means that our back leg should be set on the shooting line, while the other leg should be set naturally forward, not on the same line, but slightly to the side. And remember that if you are right-handed, then your right leg should be placed on the shooting line. Our legs should not be placed too close together, as this may result in instability of the body during the shot. We must remember to not put the back leg in front or far behind the shooting line, because this can lead to the fact our body will be locked, which will cause problem with the correct shot. Our legs should be positioned freely and in such a way that our center of gravity is set naturally. And we must remember not to be too close to the table or far away, which will also affect the stability of our body. When setting our body to the shot, it is very important to set our wrist and elbow in the right way. The cue stick should be held in such a way that our forearm forms a right angle with the cue. If our grip is moved too far or too early, we will not be able to hit the cue ball exactly where we planned, which will result in a miss. Additionally, we should remember that our wrist should be set in a straight line with our forearm, because any inward or outward curvature will also lead to the fact that we may not hit the cue ball at the desired point. The same situation is with the position of our elbow. The ideally set elbow should be placed perpendicular to the table surface. If it is curved to the left or right, it will once again make it very difficult for us to hit the cue ball at the correct point. The perfect stance at the table should be that our back leg, grip, elbow and our cue stick should be placed on the same straight line of the shot. And finally, when we are ready to the shot, it is very important in which orientation our eyes will be set. This means that our dominant eye should be placed on the shooting line. Eye alignment is very important so that we can correctly judge the angles and where exactly we are hitting the cue ball. So in this case, as you can see, my dominant eye is the left eye, which causes my head to be shifted to the right relative to the pull cue. Correct determining of which eye is dominant is very important and has a huge impact on the perception of space during the shot. As you can see, many factors have a huge impact on the quality of our shots and we need to pay the higher attention in our practice sessions to these things to improve consistency of our shots and avoid unwanted mistakes. I hope you learned a lot from this video and you will be able to leave a thumbs up and your comment below. If you enjoy my content then hit the subscribe button to be updated with videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you in the next lesson. Take care.